Hey everyone, I'm Colin Tesco of Strat Medicare, making Medicare simple. Today we're gonna talk about how much money Medicare is taking from you. <laughs> how much does Medicare cost? You're in retirement, you wanna know how much money you got, you wanna know your monthly budget. We'll go over all of that with all the parts of Medicare. Stay tuned. All right, so you may be here because you're wondering how much does Medicare cost? What does Medicare Part A cost? How much are they gonna withhold from my social security? How much money am I gonna have left over each month? Thanks for tuning in, let's get into it. I'm gonna cover mainly five different areas or five different costs that you can expect while on Medicare. They're associated with the parts of Medicare, so it should be pretty straightforward, easy to follow. Let's get into it. So. Medicare Part A is your hospitalization coverage. This covers any time you're in inpatient setting, if you're in a semi-private room and board, hospitalization, uh, uh, nurse, skilled nursing facility, those kind of things. And so with Medicare Part A, there is no monthly cost. However, you must have had paid at least 40 quarters of Social Security Medicare tax. And so you've paid for it. It's it's not free. You've paid in, but on the monthly cost, there's nothing to it there. Now, if you're only on Medicare, there are some costs associated with Medicare Part A. So let's pull up this chart here. So Part A costs and coinsurance, some things that you'll see, inpatient deductible, 1,556 here in 2022, probably change next year. That is the price that you're going to pay if you're hospitalized. So every time you're hospitalized upfront, you're only on Medicare, uh, that's what you're gonna pay. And then you can see here on the chart that we've also got some, you've got some part A co-insurances uh, co depending on how long you're hospitalized. Uh, and so these are your Medicare Part A cost so part a no monthly cost everyone uh who's worked enough quarters gets it at 65 and you do need to enroll though to get a card uh, if you're drawing social security uh you know in the in the past they've sent out those cards automatically but typically now it's just best to enroll in a and b as we'll talk in a minute here to get that card at 65. So the second uh, cost that I want to go over here is Medicare Part B. A B as in boy, not D as in dog. Part D, we'll get into that later. But Medicare Part B does have a premium. Now this premium is sliding depending on your income, though most people are going to pay 170 10 here in 2022. And so I've got a chart here for this as well. So let's take a look at this here. So you can see this, this is from medicare.gov. You can find this available there, but it shows uh, uh, what your annual gross income is, uh, in, uh, whether you file individually or uh, joint tax return there. And you can see your monthly Part B premium on the right. So again, 170.10 is, is a lot of people, uh, but if you are in those higher amounts, you can see those premiums go up. So as you consider retiring, consider going on Medicare or you're, you are ready to go on Medicare at 65, you know, and you want to know what is this going to cost me? Medicare Part B is always going to, you always have to pay that premium. So if you're in the 170.10 category, no matter which insurance uh, uh, plan, <laughs> No matter which Medicare insurance plan you choose, you have to have Medicare Part B, and so you're gonna pay that 170.10. Whether it's a Medicare supplement, Medicare Advantage plan, Part D plan, no matter what, you gotta pay the Part B premium. So you've got A and B, and B does have a premium, and it also does have some uh, co-pays and, and deductibles if you are only on Medicare A and B. So with Medicare Part B, there's a deductible 
this year it's $233. That's an annual deductible. You pay that first. Uh, after that, you're responsible for a flat 20% of all of your Medicare Part B costs. 20% is, uh, well, let's just hope you're never <laughs> hospitalized or doing any doctoring because 20% of today's healthcare world can be a lot. Uh, and so that's a big risk. And we can talk about how to mitigate some of that cost here in a minute. But that is a cost that you need to understand that's associated with Medicare Part B. And if you don't take any take out any other Medicare health insurance plan, you are responsible for that cost. So again, monthly Medicare Part B costs 170.10 no matter what. Uh, and then there's a annual deductible, 20% copay built into Medicare Part B. All right, so if you're taking notes, being on Medicare costs you uh, at least 170.10, you know, depending on your income, that's, that's kind of your baseline. Now, I talked about that 20% and talked about some of the other costs. So typically people have additional health insurance and that's what we do here. We work with Medicare Supplement, Medicare Advantage plans, and those typically have a monthly cost as well. So Medicare Supplement, for example, which I think is great coverage, something like a Plan G, a Plan N, whatever is the best fit for you, there's going to be a monthly premium with that. Most companies determine this premium based on your age and your location and your gender and a few other things. And we can talk through those company specific things if you give us a call here, but generally with the Medicare Supplement route, there's going to be an added monthly cost. So let's just say if you're around 65, it's another 100 bucks a month, give or take. But you've got Medicare Part B for 170.10, and you're adding a supplement cost for 100 bucks. Again, give or take, sometimes a lot, depending on your gender, your location, and your age. So, but just know that there is a monthly cost of the supplement. Um, but the supplements, you know, they. I know this video, you came here to find out how much of your money Medicare has taken, but let me just talk about supplements here for a second. They work so well to cover all of the costs that A and B would pass to you. So I talk about the 20% or, or the part A, that, that hospitalization deductible, those things get paid by the supplement. So at the end of the day, you know that you're going to pay the part B premium, the 170 10, the supplement premium, 100 bucks, 75 bucks, 125 bucks, whatever. And that's pretty much all you're gonna pay all year for your health insurance. If you're new to Medicare now, you know, you've got your Part B deductible, 233. So that is another cost. But beyond that, there's very little out of pocket, no matter what you do, as long as it's medically necessary. So you're paying 170.10 for Medicare Part B, you're paying 100 bucks. Uh, for a supplement and and that's your monthly cost with that type of coverage if you're hospitalized you don't pay anything out of pocket so I really I really like this route if we're talking about the costs of Medicare you know that what your monthly cost is and that's it there is no question as to how much you could pay there is not an unlimited amount of amount of financial risk or you, know, you don't have to keep your fingers crossed so you, you don't do any doctoring to, to keep things cheap for you. It is a set monthly premium and that pretty much takes care of everything. So that's a Medicare supplement. Uh, the other route that people typically go is a Medicare Advantage plan, also known as a Part C. These plans work differently and uh, click on this video here or that we've got a link to that'll explain how Medicare Advantage plans work. Uh, but again, there's a monthly cost of these and you have to have Medicare Part B. So just like this supplement, you pay the 170.10, then most of them have a monthly cost. Now, the Advantage plan monthly costs vary. There are $0 Advantage plans, so you could get on the Advantage plan with no premium. So if you're talking about the 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 monthly cost to be on Medicare is zero dollars, great. And for some people, that's a good option. And the Medicare Advantage plans range in price from zero dollars a month on up to 
150 or more a month for coverage. Now, as far as monthly costs go, that is similar to a supplement. You know, you pay the 170.10 and the premium to be on the plan. Where it differs though, is most advantage plans are an HMO or a PPO. And again, go learn all, all about them. But the point is there are costs associated to most of the healthcare that you receive. So office visit copay, specialist visit copay, hospitalization, uh, hospitalization costs, uh, outpatient surgery costs, lab work, I mean, I mean, all kinds of things. Um, and so if you're asking how much does it cost to be on Medicare, it's harder to know with, a, with an Advantage plan depending on how much you doctor. Now, most of them do have a max out of pocket. And this varies sometimes greatly from plan to plan, but something like $3,000, $5,000, $8,000 max out of pocket, where you know, or at least you have that peace of mind, or you can set aside uh, a dollar amount to save for that max out of pocket. And what that means is, uh, let's say you're hospitalized, <laughs> hospitalized four times in a year. I, I, I hope not, but you know something severe where you have a lot of costs adding up on the Advantage plan. Once you reach that $5,000 or whatever your specific plan is, then the plan pays for everything. And so if you want to know how much it costs to be on Medicare, and in this case, a Medicare Advantage plan, you know your premium, and then it depends on how much you doctor, and you, and you do have that peace of mind of the max out of pocket. Again, different from the supplement. So supplement, you pay 170.10, and the supplement premium, and then very little out of pocket. And the Advantage plan, uh, 170.10, su uh, premium, and then depending on how much you doctor, you can pay a, a little or a lot more out of pocket. All right, and so lastly, the last bit of coverage that we should cover um, in terms of cost, how much it's gonna cost you to be a Medicare, is Medicare Part D as in dog, D as in drug, D as in donut hole. Yes, there are a lot of costs associated with prescriptions while on Medicare. First of all, if you go the supplement route, you'll need to purchase a prescription drug plan, which does have its own premium. So you've got 170.10 for Medicare Part B, you've got a supplement premium, 100 bucks roughly, and then you'll purchase a drug plan, which depending on your medications can range from this year in 2022, $6 a month on up to almost 100 sometimes. Most people though, uh, are under $20 a month for that premium to be on the drug plan. Now, if you're turning 65 soon and you're on some medications, give us a call here. We'll go over your medications. We'll find a plan that fits best with your needs and with your medications and make sure that that's what you need and uh, get you on the best plan possible to provide you the best coverage at the best premium and find that, that sweet spot. So we do here, but that is a added monthly cost. Now, all of the Part D plans typically have co-pays. Uh, generic medications you can often get for little or no cost, but other medications do have some co-pays and the higher tier medications have a deductible, which we could go through your specific medications. But just know that, that if you're on medications and if you're on many medications or if you're on some brand name uh, expensive medications, you will see uh, some out-of-pocket costs through the year that can vary. Again, we've got a video explaining that. You can click that link if you want to learn the intricacies of prescription drug coverage. But here today, we're talking about the costs of Medicare. And so as a whole, with a prescription drug plan, you've got a monthly cost, just a premium to be on the plan, and then out-of-pockets with your medications, uh, you know, unless they're they're free generics. So that's part D. I should mention on an Advantage plan, the prescription drug coverage is often built in. And so it has similar copay structure, same tiers, same donut holes, same all of the things that you know you can learn about with prescription drug coverage, but you don't pay a monthly premium for the drug coverage because it's built into the Advantage plan. 
So if you're if you're considering costs, one seventy ten, and everyone has to pay to be on Medicare Part B, then the the premium for uh, the Advantage plan, but you don't pay a premium for the prescription drug coverage. It's just built in, so that can add up a little less monthly. And that's like I said before the the Advantage plan. Definitely is a good fit for some people if you're very budget minded or if your monthly income is pretty low. You can get some coverage that uh, provides you, you know, that that max out of pocket, that catastrophic coverage, and uh, at a low cost. On the other hand, again, with the supplement one seventy ten for the supplement or for the Part D premium, then the supplement premium, then the drug premium, but the coverage is typically more comprehensive. And so what are the most important things you can do as you get ready to transition to Medicare? One of those things is to count the cost. And so hopefully today you've gone a, you've been able to, to think through the, the Part B premium, the plan type premium that you're, you're considering, the supplement or the Advantage plan, and then the drug plan. You know, if you want specifics, that's what we're here for. Give us a call. We are licensed advisors with most of the Medicare plans that are available to you. And so we can talk through your needs. Do you want lowest monthly cost possible? Do you want absolute best coverage possible? You know, we can find that for you. We can get you on the plan you need and tell you exactly what your monthly costs will be on Medicare. So give us a call, we'll go over that. Uh, we've got the number right here on the screen toll free. Always click around in some of our other videos, learn more about Medicare, and let us make Medicare simple for you. All right, Colin Tesco with Strive Medicare. It's been good to be with you today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.